A couple of months ago, my iPhone broke, but I knew it was dying. It was completely cracked, and after I dropped it in that puddle, I knew it wouldn't be long until I'd wake up one day and But it got me thinking. I knew I couldn't afford to replace it. I could have bought a cheap Android to get by, but I thought, you know what? Let's see how I get on with this. Now, I never intended for this to be one of those 30 days without a smartphone videos, but instead, what's actually happened over these last few months, I could never have seen coming. The first week or so without a smartphone, I was getting by pretty good because my laptop was still connected to WhatsApp, so I could still talk to family and friends, so the Nokia was really only for emergency calls. Plus my wife was always close by, so I could always use her phone instead if I needed to. But then... Uh... Okay, so I'm locked out of WhatsApp and the only way I can get back in is to resync it to my phone, what is just a water damaged shiny brick. I could still text people off the laptop, what was still way more practical than actually using the phone. But the thing is, <clears throat> I've been getting by. It hasn't been completely inconvenient or frustrating or stressful not having like my iPhone on me all the time. But I should also mention that over the last few years, like my social life has drastically decreased. I used to be on Twitter every day, speaking to friends and just filling like every spare minute of my life just on my phone. But I deleted social media about two years ago and have been slowly using my phone less and less. But before I actually dropped it in the puddle, not that long ago, I was still on my phone every day for hours, just just because. But since this fell into a puddle and I've been using this, it actually hasn't been that bad. In fact, I haven't even been using this. It's been a month since this stopped working and I've rarely used it. I'm turning into my nan. I'm even forgetting to take this with me when I go someplace. Even when I have the kits, what's actually really bad. Like, I mean, what would I do if something happened? <laughs> It's crazy how in such a short couple of months, I've gone from using this all of the time, just like everyone, to not even using a phone. I can't believe I'm actually forgetting to take a phone with me when I leave the house. How is that even possible? I know I've kind of been forced into this situation, kind of. I mean, I could have bought one of those cheap Android phones and just got by, but I'm really glad I didn't because by putting myself into this very weird situation, I've realized something that I didn't even think was possible. What is, I don't even need a phone. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure at some point I will buy a new one, whether I get a new iPhone or I'll just get some cheap little Android to get me by. I'm sure I'm going to get to a point where it's just going to be too frustrating and inconvenient to just not have one. But this is all hypothetical. I have no idea what will happen. I'm not an idiot. I know society relies on us using our phones. More and more things are turning towards us having to use our phones to live in this digital age. But this little experiment has really shocked me because I thought I needed a phone. Like it was a literal extension of my body. It's something that I could not live without. But that just hasn't been the case. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I miss Spotify. I miss checking the weather. That's sad. <laughs> I miss listening to audiobooks and podcasts on runs and when I drive. And there's just something about having it on you. It just makes me feel, you just feel more complete, more relaxed and comfortable knowing that you've got your smartphone on you. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. I'm not saying we don't need our phones, like we should just throw them away and reject what's happening. But this has really shown me that these are things that we just use, but don't necessarily need every day all the time because I haven't been using it every day. I used this once this week to call a pizza place to tell them to put less cheese on our order. That's it. So take from my experience what you like. Maybe the brick that you carry around in your pocket everywhere you go, like a teddy bear or blanket that you would carry around as a kid. Maybe it's not as essential as you originally thought. It's always nice to have it on us. It's, it's always comforting knowing if something happens, 
Oh my God, Nan has fallen down the stairs. And because we have picked up in 0.5 seconds, we can make sure everything's all right, because that always happens. In reality, not having my phone on me means I respond to texts maybe once or twice a day, or Kirsty will just tell me what's been going on in the evenings. And sometimes, I might not know the time, or if it's going to rain when I go out. God forbid, maybe, maybe I should set up a GoFundMe page. I'm joking. But unlike all of those 30 day videos, once this video's up, I'm still just going to pretty much have this and use it very, very rarely. So maybe I'll do an update once something changes, but I have no idea when that will be. If you wanna try doing hard things like using your phone less or building habits like exercising or reading, then check out this video next, what will really just change your perception on how to do hard things and change your thoughts on how motivation works on us. So I'll see you in the next one.